Hello all, welcome to another video of Midas Thought video series. My name is Rohit Joseph and I am a technical support engineer at Midas IP. In this video, I will be explaining the cable force tuning in Midas part 2. Cable force tuning will be the major content for today's video. In the part 1 video, I have already explained the initial cable forces and the unknown road factor method. So now let's see how cable force tuning can be done in Midas Civil. Even though the unknown load factor function in Midas Civil calculates the initial pretension that needs to be applied to the cables for a cable state bridge, the, sometimes the designer cannot get the desired initial pretension in one go, especially when the number of constraints is very high. So in those kind of situations, the designers should do many iterations by fine tuning the pretension using the influence metrics in order to get the initial pretension that produces the desired bending moment and deformation. So cable force tuning feature helps the uh, the users to attain the desired cable forces without reanalyzing the model. So these are the steps that should be followed. First, the matrix and search method in which the influence matrix for each element will be checked and which cable force is affecting those the most. Next, the low cases, the pretension loads. Step 3, set the range. Step 4, provide the element number. Select the elements whose pretension will be adjusted within the targeted range. Step 5, object function type, where we choose linear, absolute max or square. Step 6, boundary, setting the upper and lower limits within which the solution for the object will be found. And step 7, calculate and apply. Let's see how it can be done using Midas Civil step by step. Let's go to the model. In the previous model, we have already found the initial cable forces. From the load combination, we can see the ULFs, these will be the factors for the initial cable forces. Now, it's not possible to provide the, we have to check the pilot deformations too, and we have to check if the deformations and the bending moments are within limit. For that, let's use the cable force tuning option in Midasil. For that, go to results, cable control, cable force tuning. Here, select the load combination ULF. And see the process here. Now, for the results, click here to get. So, I have already defined deck moment and pylon displacement. For deck moment, I have given the name deck moment and I have chosen the group deck. The type is beam force. We can give deformations, stress force, beam stresses, and take with beam force. Here the type is M by, this is the component that I want to limit. The axis will be in the X axis. That is the elements will be aligned in the X, X direction, positive X direction. The type will be element. So click on add. Likewise, I have defined the pylon displacement. For pylon displacement, the pylon, I have created a group structure group pilot. In the x direction, I want to control the displacements in the x direction. The axis will be in the Z, global Z direction. The pilot will be going in the upward direction, the positive direction and type this distance add or modify. Apart from the moments, I want to make sure that the pilot displacements, these are, this is the structure group and we can the nodes that we check for deformation. And I have to check if it is within 40 mm displacement in the x direction. Now, let's go again to the cable force tool. Here you can select, first I'll select the deck moment. Once the deck moment is selected, you can see the element 1001 to 10012, except the two elements that is discarded. You can see all the elements are aligned. And the moment at I end and the center of each element will be displayed. Now, the line type, we can also select a bar type. I'm choosing line type here. And I want to set the limits. I want this to be within 5000 minus 5000 kN and plus 5000 kN. By clicking show range, we can even see the range. Now, you can see all the I and moment is within the range, but the C and or the standard moments are above the 5000 limit. 
by clicking on show range, we can see the range. This will be the dotted red line, the range. Now, at the top, we can see the influence value. By clicking on the influence value, you can see the influence of each uh, each pretension force. Like if we click here, you can see this will be the influence line for each pretension for T1 on the moment of in the structure group uh, deck. Likewise, you can see the influence of any pretension force. This will be the influence force. Apart from this, you can also check the matrix. This is the influence matrix here. If you want to see which retention force is affecting 1002 element I A, you can just click here and you can see that the influence of each retention forces. Out of this, we can see that T2 has the most effect on element 1002 I T2. So close T2 and by clicking on T2, you can see T2 has the most effect on moment at the I end of element 1002. I hope this much is clear. Now, if now we can see that the T2, when we click T2, the influence line is below the actual moment of the element considers to i n so if i increase the value of t2 then the value of the moment at 1002 i will reduce now you can see the value is close to 5000 if i change this to 10000 and click enter you can see the value at 1002 i n has come down to minus 5877.91 kilonewton meter and likewise you can undo it by control plus reset or we have the undo button here whatever changes we have made we can click here to undo whatever actions we have done or else we can we also have the redo button now another example is if you take t7 t7 has the least effect like it's a, like a constant line we can take another example so while considering the t7 retention loads the influence line is almost like a horizontal line so we can take the example of 1008c and 1008i if i increase the value of t2 t7 sorry the value of one the value of moment at 1008 center will come down while the value of 1008i will go up. So here 1008c the value is 6906 kilonewton meter that is 6906 kilonewton meter while the value at 1008i it's minus 2020. Now changing this value to 1000 you can see that 1008C, the value has come down to 4769.21 kilonewton meter. Initially, it was almost 6900 kilonewton meter, and the value at I end, it has increased. So, doing many iterations, we can break down, we can play around with the T1, T2, and T12 till T12. We can change the pretension forces and we can manage to get the moments within this limit. I have already done the cable flow storing for this bridge. I have, I'll copy the results. I'll copy it here. Now you can see that all the values are within the range. We also have a search option. For example, the 9000 the influence line is increasing in this direction. So if I increase the value of 9000 to 10,000, definitely these two bending moments will come out of the range. If 10,000 will come. Now you can see that the bending moment at these two elements 
positions are coming at 1008C and 1009C. We have a simple option of searching. So the unknown factor is T12. We can click on search and in search we have the option T12. We click T12. Yeah. The force is 10,000 given and it set automatically sets a range of 20%. Like 10,000 plus 20% of 10,000 plus or minus. So it will be checking from the range of 8,000 to 12,000. If you want, we can even change these values automatically. And we can check all these options or we can just check the elements which are out of the range. So here the out of the range elements are 1008C and 1009C. Just taking those options. The function type can be absolute or square. I want the moments should be within minus 5000 kilonewton meter and plus 5000 kilonewton meter. Click on calculate. Now you can see that the ring has been adjusted. Click on apply. Now it has changed back to 9000. So if we provide 9000, the inequality conditions will be satisfied and we can be desired. Pay attention to Likewise, you can even search for each uh, each force, each free tension force. If any one of the moments that, like few of the moments are getting out of the range, you can select a, a particular free tension force and you can change it using the search function. I hope this is clear. Now, if you want to save the load combination, you can click on save load combination. By clicking on save load combination, this load combination will be saved to ULM. The values of ULF load, uh, load factors will be changed. For example, you can go to minus seven, check load combinations, ULF, you can see the values are all updated. If we click on update the present model, the ULC, the first load combination that we made, will be updated according to this load factors. Apart from the dead moments, we also have to check the pylon displacement. For that, you can select pylon displacement and choose the range minus 40 mm and plus 40 mm. You got show range. So this is the pilot displacement in the x direction and the range and we see this is the influence value for each for each pretension case. Now the pretension forces are sorted and the pylon deformations are also within the range. So we can fix the pretension forces. Now, I hope this is clear. I'm just clicking on update to present model. Yes. Now you can see the, the road combination in the ULC. The forces will be updated. And go to work stream menu and check the pretension forces for T1 display, you can see it is 6800, which is which we calculated from the table force. You can run the model and check the results. Results, forces, minimum diagram, and select ULC. You can, you can see that the moments are all well within the range, and the pilot displacement can also be seen. Displacement also. This form shape dx. Now select the pilot tool, activate values. You can see that everything is within the limit. Maximum is 28 mm. So this is how cable flow storing can be done using Midas. I hope this video was very useful. Stay tuned for more exciting videos. Thank you.